Hey guys, okay, so it's haul time, and uh, most of this stuff is going to be action figure related, but uh, there are a few items I want to show you that are kind of just miscellaneous items. Uh, first of all, for four pounds, I picked up this poker set. Uh, I'm, I can't remember if I showed you this already, I don't think I did. Uh, I have been posting in the Facebook, the UK resellers Facebook group. So sometimes I think I've already shown you when I haven't. But uh, yeah, this is a, a poker set. It's not fantastic money. Um, I'm looking to get maybe 10 to 15 pounds. I paid four, so there's not really much into it. But uh, one thing that is pretty cool is it's actually brand new and sealed inside. Um, the box has got a little bit of shelf wear, but yeah, it's um, it's brand new and sealed. Every, every All the chips are sealed, all the cards are sealed. So that's pretty cool. So um I'm going to try and get 10 15 for that. And I have a brand new and sealed Nike football bag or gym bag or you can put your golf boots in there or rugby shoes or whatever. Um, but what's pretty cool is it still comes with the original stickers and the original label and also even the uh, silica gel. Oh, it's down there, but you know, the silica gel bag. Um, I've got this listed for £20 or the best offer because I tend to go for between like 13 and 15 But for a collector, they might like the idea of it still being factory sealed. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to try that. If it doesn't go, I'll drop it down, but I paid £2 for this. Uh, and, and lastly, on the kind of more generic items, I picked up this for £3 which is a wooden stable kit okay so basically it comes flat packed and all these bits slide into each other and you've got all little bits of wood and, and there's like a stable door um, I didn't know too much about it this exact one is sold on eBay for £10 uh, I paid I think it was £3 so um, there's not much in it but I saw it I thought it looked pretty cool and sometimes you have to take a gamble so I did and I'll still make some money just not that much um, and next up are my figures. Uh, I bought three bundles of figures recently for various prices. I'll tell you kind of what I got them for and what I hope to get back. Uh, first of all, let's get this out of the way because this isn't really a figure, but it was in with one of the bundles. And it's a remote control Scooby-Doo. Okay, um, I've not actually tested it yet. I, I think the batteries have probably gone in this. But it is official license, Warner Brothers. Um, doesn't have a year, but it's Hanna Barbera, Warner Brothers, Talking Scooby Doo. So that might be pretty cool. Um, I believe that's about six pounds worth there. I actually paid four pounds twenty for all of the Scooby Doo stuff I'm about to show you. Um, so, like I said, this one here, that's six pounds. That's already my money. That's without the rest. <laughs> so let me try and uh, find a, a gap for these. Okay, so next up is a complete uh, fairground playset, Scooby-Doo fairground playset. You get the Ferris wheel along with the kind of, you know, the seats. So I can't remember what they're called, but so you get those. And you get one... You just move that for a second. You get these kind of bumper cars as well that go with it. And like a, a four-way mirror thing that kind of, you know those mirrors that you stand in front of and it shows you different shapes and that. And yeah, it's one of those. Um, you don't actually get too much with the pack in all honesty. Uh, but I have got like a bunch of figures as well. Um, I also have this, which is a Scooby-Doo Fire Department uh, kind of pull-along vehicle. And uh, this this sells on eBay for about four to five pounds. So not too much there, but bear in mind I've got a whole lot for four pounds twenty. Um, the fairground goes for about 15, 10 to fifteen pounds. It's unboxed, but it's all there. And um, 
there's like a whole bunch of figures as well and I'll get all these figures out unfortunately they're not like the big figures they're the small ones but um, that's not part of it yeah unfortunately they are they are just the the smaller figures um, I'm tempted to maybe pick up some of the big figures if I can get hold of them uh, but there's loads I mean I think that that might be part of the fairground one or it might be part of the other thing that I have um, but yeah it's like there's just a whole bunch of little mini figures and scoobies and all kinds of stuff and there's a, a shaggy a fireman shaggy there and I believe another fireman shaggy and there's loads of like pirate ones so I don't think they'd be worth much on their own so I'm gonna just bundle them up with some of the play set um, I'm gonna just shove them down there I'm just looking for some space here um, I'll show you that in a second but what I also have is the mystery machine uh, play set which is really really cool and it all opens up and I think every pretty much every side opens if I can there we go every side opens and there's doors everywhere and everything opens and you get figures inside and so I'm, I'm tempted to maybe I don't know what that one does but I'm tempted to maybe um, get some figures and bundle them up with this this with figures this goes for about 15 pounds so um, that's that's not too bad um, without figures maybe about a tenner I mean it's in really good condition nothing's broke it this is a uh, it uh, just says Han Hanna-Barbera, it doesn't say a year, but, but it's pretty cool. You can check these up on eBay quite happily. It's got a slight scratch on the windscreen, but that shouldn't be too bad. I reckon that's £10 as it sits. 15 if I can get some figures. Um, next time I'm at a boot sale, I'll see if I can pick up some figures or charity shop or even eBay. You know, some auction, there's bound to be some that goes for quite cheap. So, yeah, so that was pretty cool. And also, it's not complete, unfortunately. But um, there is the Scooby-Doo fort, and uh, so you've got like the drawbridge that comes down, and this all opens up. If I can show you, there we go. That all opens up, and you get like a skeleton and some stairs and all that kind of stuff in there. And so that's pretty cool. Um, I can close it. There we go. So yeah, so that, that's pretty cool. Considering I only paid four pounds uh, twenty, I think it was four twenty. Yeah, four pounds twenty for the whole lot. That unfortunately, as like I said, it's not complete. The complete one goes for a good twenty-five, thirty pounds, um, and you know, the door opens and all that. But, but uh, yeah, so unfortunately, like I said, it's not complete. Let me just close this door. There we go. Um, but I reckon there might be ten pounds in that, or if I put the figures with this, and maybe that um, fire engine with it, that might go as a Scooby Doo pack for like fifteen, twenty quid. So uh, there's there's other bits and pieces to the fort in here. There's like uh, big guns and stuff that bolt on the top, and so there's, there's plenty there. There's uh, another Scooby. That's probably obviously a fairground one, but but yeah. So there's plenty in there for four pounds twenty. I can't really go too wrong with that. So um, let me try and just put all this away before I show you the next lot. Okay, so let's put these away. And that's one box now. Scooby can go in there and the remote control. Okay, so I'm going to move this box out of the way. Next, I want to show you some vintage turtle figures. Um, yeah, four pounds away. So yeah, these ones I got this guy here. Now these weren't the why I bought them, but they were good extras. Now this one here is a Rolled Ready Leo mutations figure, and it's Playmate Toys, and I believe it's from '93 or '94. Um, yeah, 1993. And you can see that it's Leonardo, and he kind of turns into a, a fire engine. And uh, 
Why, I don't know, because I don't remember him ever turning into anything. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so I've got that listed on eBay right now for £9.99, believe it or not. Um, as it is quite a rare figure, it's in good condition, it's all there. So, um, so yeah, £9.99. I have this one here, which is a Ninja Action Flip Leonardo. Um, and the, the ones that I've seen on eBay are missing the sword, which is really strange considering it's actually screwed on. So um, I've seen one that, where, it's, where it's snapped off there, which is understandable. Uh, but basically you kind of, you know, you put his hands up, press him down, and then he will flip when he's on like a desktop. Um, and that's currently listed for £7.99 on eBay. Um, they sell now and again, not too often, but I'd rather have it listed than just sitting here. So that's £7.99. This is a Cyber Samurai Donatello. Unfortunately, he's missing... The weapons on his arms um, it's just like left two holes you can get like an axe that fits in there and then you can press a little button on the on the back and it fires um, but um, as a replacement figure it's it's in really good condition so if somebody for example has one they, and they've snapped that off or something um, I've got this listed for just five pounds on eBay because of the, the fact that it's missing weapons but these were the ones that I, that I purchased it for and uh, <clears throat> First of all, you've got a 1988 Shredder, okay, and it's the wind-up version, um, but it's still 1998, it's still Playmate Toys, and these are actually currently all listed as a bundle from Shredder on, onwards from what I show you now. Um, so, unfortunately, he, he's missing some of the stars on his arms, and uh, what happens is when you wind him up, the stars kind of rotate and turn around. And so, unfortunately, I'm missing those, but that's described. I've also described the fact that he has a bit of a loose limb, but it's on there. I mean, it ain't going to fall off, but it's a bit loose. Um, so that's that guy. I've also got Splinter from the 1988 Playmate series. Unfortunately, he's missing a rope, and he's missing his crossbow weapon, which is like Splinter's main weapon for this character. Um, he has got an original weapon, that is from the original line. It's just not his personal weapon. Um, and once again, he's in the bundle with Shredder. And I'll show you... Let's have a look. I'll move him first. Here we go. I'll show you Raphael first, okay? Here's Raphael. Now, he's got a couple of issues with him. First of all, he's missing a little bit of his belt. As you can see, there's two on that side. Uh, sorry, two on that side, but only one on that side. Uh, and he doesn't have his original weapons. Um, these are original weapons, just not his. Um, and these were kind of like generic weapons that came with the Turtles back in 1988. I always, always, always wanted these figures. And uh, when I was a kid, you know, we, we didn't have much money, but at Christmas time, we always managed to kind of get what we wanted and for me, it was always computers, so like Amigas, Commodores, PlayStation, SNES, Mega Drive, whatever a console happened to be at the time, I usually went with them. But when the Christmas that these kind of were all the rage here, probably 1990, something like that, 91, over here, um, I really wanted these, and I, I never ended up getting them. I, I My parents went out uh, to Argos at the time and tried to buy them completely sold out everywhere and I, I always missed out on these and uh, they were just such a huge part of my childhood the turtle I loved the turtles you know I even built like my own sewer in the back garden out of pipe and sand why sand in a sewer I don't know but it seemed to work and I had like the cheaper versions that we my, my parents managed to get some cheaper slightly knockoff ones um, in a hardware shop and I think they were just called like turtle ninjas or something <laughs> but I liked them but it was always the fact that I never managed to get the original vintage ones um, until now in my 30s so but I love them they're still pretty cool but they are listed on eBay so but yeah so you've got Raphael uh, you've got Michelangelo 
and I have to say, Mikey is in fantastic condition. His belt is complete, and he has both nunchucks. And the often with Michelangelo, if you're ever on the lookout for him, um, there's a couple of things that can go wrong with him that quite often do. Usually, if the weapons are with him, um, the weapons have snapped in the middle because they are very thin plastic. So people, so kids often used to pull that to get it out of his hand and it would snap. And also at the back, the rings that the nunchucks go into when he's not holding them, they, they often used to snap because they're only thin plastic. But that is fantastic with him. Brilliant, brilliant condition. Um, so I'm really, really happy with the rest of them. are fantastic. It's just really Raphael that has an issue. Uh, next up we have Donatello, which was always one of my favourites. Um, but there's Donatello, and he has his original staff as well with him, which is cool. Um, the back is, is really good. I, I, I can't remember if it is this guy. Now it must be Leo, where one of the back rings have, has split, but it still holds. It's still all connected. It's just it's split right down one side, which I've described in the, in the auction, so um, in my listing. But yeah, so that's Donny. And lastly, we have, of course, the leader, Leonardo, with both swords, which is very, very cool. Um, the the um, sword holder on his back is, is in, it's in decent condition, but unfortunately, um, he is missing one part there, where it's just, if you can see it, that one there has got that bit. On the other side it's missing so and and like I said with this one it has got a slight split just there so but the fact that it's Leo with his weapons and he stands proper and it's all it's all good and there's no marks on him so I'm really really happy with those let me try and get all them in one shot for you but yeah so that's the, the four turtles and of course Splinter and Shredder so I'm just going to bung these back. Now, the that bundle of Splinter, Shredder, and the Four Turtles, I'm currently trying for about £40. I know there's a guy um, on eBay trying to get £69.99 for them, but if they were perfect, if they came with all of their original weapons, I'd be tempted with £70 myself. But to be honest, there is a bit of damage. Um, not all of them have their original weapons. So... I'd be happy with £40, to be honest. Now, I spent... I won these at auction, and I spent a total of um, £18 something for all of these turtles, plus, obviously, the Cyber Samurai one, and the Fire Engine one, and the Ninja Flip one. So, if I get what I've listed them for, you're talking 40 50 60 a 70 quid's worth return. For an £18 outlay. So not too bad. And I got to finally have the original turtles in my possession. Which was a dream come true for me. So pretty cool. Um, so next up. I have a bundle that turned up this morning. <clears throat> very, very pleased with these. And uh, what I'm going to do. Is I want to really be able to kind of identify which which one these are so okay guys right you may have seen a little bit of a jump there um, but what I was basically doing was I was pricing up all of the ones I have so I didn't have to do it live um, I did bring up a window to do it but I thought it might be save save a lot of time just to do this um, okay so I'm gonna run through them first of all I have a few that aren't really worth anything and you've got this guy here, which is called Out Freaks Freako. Now, unfortunately, he's missing some bits there, and he's also missing something inside. And there's this guy here, who is called Rams Rhesus. Um, once again, there's not... I mean, he's listed on eBay for £20, but he's not sold in a long time. And I don't know if he's complete. I'll have to check. But, um, yeah, so that's Rams Rhesus, £20. And if this guy was complete... He sells for £14 just alone. Unfortunately, he's not. I can't see anything in this bag that would relate to him. Um, but I actually... Actually, maybe that bit there with the, with the orange. 
I think that might actually be a part of him. Yeah, I think that is a part of him. Okay, so it's a bit more complete than I thought, but still not on the right. Uh, let me just quickly check, as I've had a couple of sales. Cool, right. Just sold those uh, Union Jet boots. <laughs> anyway, um, right, so I'm going to go through these. Okay, well, we've got this guy here, and he's called uh, Defeats Vamp Bat or something. I can't remember now. Defeats Bat Defeats Vamp or something like that. And he will go for £8, okay? So eight pounds, and they all open up. They've all got their guys and the little people with them. Eight pounds. Uh, this guy is Chronosaur, and he will go for six pounds. Okay. Uh, next up, we have Mecha Crawler, which is this guy here. He's a strange one. I had a lot of trouble finding him um, online, but his name is Mecha Crawler. It's kind of there. We go. Looks like me. Mecha Crawler. And uh, he goes for £10, believe it or not. Uh, next up, we have Fly. It squishes the fly. Unfortunately, he's missing his wings. So he goes for about £5 because of the wings are missing. Uh, or at least that's what I'm going to try and get. And we have Dino Lab, which is this guy here. Um, pretty cool looking, Dino Lab. Uh, he is complete. You can't see it, but the other bit is in just in there um, and he goes for nine pounds alone uh, next up we have a wolf ship seven and he's a pretty sinister looking guy um, and he I think I'm not sure some of these have their guys inside some of them have, to have it in the bag yeah so he's like you know he opens up he turns like a lab and all that stuff um, so yeah, so he goes for £10. This guy here is Slays the Dragon. Okay. And um, they're all in really good condition. And he goes for £20. So he's definitely one to look out for when you're out and about. Next up, I've seen this guy in so many videos. Um, this guy is the Palace of Poison. And uh, he goes for £10 alone. Next up, we have Trapped by Arachnoid. And this guy is pretty sinister looking. And in, with this guy, if you open him up, you actually get... Um, there we go. You actually get a, another spider inside as well. He kind of sits there. And then when you close it, it becomes the legs... The legs of that spider as well, which is pretty cool. Um, and he goes for £10. And um, next up we have the more kind of more sought after ones. Uh, well, I haven't said that. Some of them were like 10, 20 pounds. But we have this guy here who's called Fang. And um, he's not worth a great deal, but apparently he is quite rare. Um, and, uh, you know, his, his chest opens up and the back opens up and there's loads of stuff in there. He has got all his extras and guys because he comes with like three little figures. Um, all that's there as well, and he sells for between eight to ten pounds. Um, so that's um, so I, I thought I thought a tooth was falling out, but it's actually meant to. It's just like a little bit that opens up. Um, there you go. It's a little mouth opens up. Um, but yeah, so eight to ten pounds for him. And the next two are the, the quite the big ones. Um, now we we have this guy here. Who is the Skull Master? And this guy is really pretty cool. Um, his head opens up like that. And also his face opens up. I'm going to show you. And guys, face opens up as well. And, and yeah, he's really, really quite cool. Um, also, this part comes out as well. Uh, but yeah, so this guy, I believe he's actually missing. Uh, something he's missing a little um, back plate I think there just goes there uh, but he's actually still really really cool he's very very sought after and um, I believe his mouth still moves something oh I see you can kind of move it at the back 
Um, but yeah, so this guy, in its current form, goes for between 30, 35 pounds. If he was complete, I'd probably get about 45, 50. But because of that plate missing, everything else is there. And all the little figures and stuff's there. But apart from that plate, um, I'm looking at maybe 35, 40. Um, sorry, 30, 35. Which is fantastic for him. And also, lastly, is this guy here, who is Blast Magus. And he is fully complete in original box with instructions. There's currently one on eBay like this, and he's trying to get uh, about, I think it's £55. The most I've ever seen this sell for in its original box is 30 So, to be honest, I might try 40 because there's only one more on eBay. Um, but I'll show you what this guy looks like because he's quite a quite a decent size Mighty Max, really. Um, but, he, but the instructions are in the box and also all the, the cable ties as well that keeps him down. But this guy is quite a beast. Um, and he's all working and, you know, all his mouth and stuff and that lifts up and the back comes down. And he's got a little figure, I don't know if you can quite see, but he's got a little figure in there that's like trapped in a cage. So yeah, it's pretty uh, intricate and really quite cool, actually. Um, yeah, so sorry, I was just looking at this guy. Um, his weapon still fires, he's still got his weapon there, so he's, this guy's fully complete. I reckon I could get £40 for him, as I'll only be one or two on eBay and the other guy's charging 50 for the exact same thing um, that I am. And the box is in really, really good condition. So, yeah, and incredibly, I actually only paid £18 for the entire Mighty Max set. So, um, I am well, well pleased with that. And uh, it's the first time I've really entered eBay auctions for reselling. I, I, I often try and look at auctions to see if there's anything that's really, really good. I have picked up a few other things, a couple of headsets, a Logitech headset and another headset for I won at 50p. And I also won a Nintendo Wii uh, for just £5. With Nintendo Wii bundle with controller, nunchucks, games on the system, everything for £5. Because it was listed as spares or repairs, it was broken. However, it turns out that by the sounds of it, the only thing that's gone wrong with it is the power supply. So if I just buy a replacement power supply, plug it straight in, it should work. Because the person I bought it from said, oh, it doesn't power on anymore, so I'm saying it's broke. But then she said she borrowed her neighbor's power supply unit and powered it up fine to get her disc out of the machine, because she had a disc in when it went off. So I'm there thinking, well, hang on, if the machine powers up with her neighbor's power supply, but not hers, it's got to be power supply. So, yeah. Uh, but I'll I'll talk about that when I get them. I've got some other things coming as well. So thank you for watching. This video is going to be edited slightly in the middle, so I apologise there. I just wanted to be a bit more direct with the pricing. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. That's my haul for this week. And um, yeah, I should make some good money. I reckon... Uh, let's have a look. Uh, 40, 70, 80, 90, 110, 120... Maybe around £150 on the Mighty Max stuff, about 40 to 50 on the Scooby-Doo, and the Turtles, I'm hoping to get maybe about £60 for the, for the whole lot. So you're talking way over £200, and I've spent about, I don't know, 38 39 So pretty good going. So yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I won't take up too much of your time. Hopefully this has been a very productive weekend for you guys. And uh, I'll talk to you again real, real soon. So, thank you.